phone lit up. I opened up the cell phone, and it said 666. What are you going to do with this? We're taking it today. It held some bad vibrations, dear. It got very bad vibrations. That's why I'm asking you what, what you feel you want to do with this. This is something that you're going to have to be very careful of, honey. You don't want to give your problem to somebody else. And the only way to make sure that that's not going to happen is to take something like that and get rid of it permanently. We've had someone burn an object. We didn't ask them to do that, but they did it on their own. A Ouija board? She said as soon as that board started to burn, she felt like she was burning. So ever since we've known what happens when people do things like that, we never advocate just going out and burning an object like that. Something like that piano, though, if that's something you want to bury, and then consecrate the ground, just to make sure it's not going to ever harm anybody again. Whatever is on the piano, dear, doesn't seem to be human. Anything that's making you feel that sick inside like that, anything that's affected you, anything that's giving you these signs like this 666 business that both you and your husband are seeing is not a human spirit. You're a vulnerable person. You've already opened doors, so you're vulnerable. You, you need a blessing. Okay. Yeah, you, you don't need to add any fuel to the fire. Suppose you and Ryan could just do something with the binding of it for now until they can move it off so that nothing is going to affect Nadine and her husband here after well, we dispose of it. At Lorraine's suggestion, we've decided the next step is to perform a binding ceremony. Binding refers to the prayer's ability to trap the spirit that may be here at the piano itself. So if the piano is removed, the spirit will go with it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Us Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. I command all evil spirits, anything harmful or evil that's within this piano that is harmful to humans, to remain bound in this piano. Amen. Amen. Lorraine and Tony suggest we take the piano, bust it up, and then we bury it. We'll make sure it's not given to somebody else. Right, exactly. So no one will be touching the piano, and its history will be done. Good. Great. So that's what we're going to do. I think it's best if we just go ahead and take it, and there's no more involvement afterwards, just because if you are there while we're busting it up, there's always a chance it can latch on. Next, we're planning on taking the piano to a warehouse in a neighboring town. <sighs> That's it. Since we'll be with the piano and Lorraine will be spending the night with the client, we're hoping this will give us the answer to our question. Is the piano haunted or the house? All right. So we have come to this warehouse to see if this piano will react differently or the same. See if taking it out of the environment, if there's any difference. There's no Nadine or John. It's just us. So we'll see if it reacts differently or not. Maybe you won't do anything. My guess is that I won't do anything. What's the matter? I keep getting dizzy. I feel sick when I go around this thing. Anyone else feel ill or anything when they're near this piano? I feel it too. I bumped it by accident. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> well, we're not gonna, I doubt we'll get anything from it because it's already bound. But just to be safe, we'll chop it up and bury it. Well, we're not gonna, I doubt we'll get anything from it because it's already bound. Director's log. After removing the piano from the client's house, we experienced next to no activity. At this point, either scenario, whether the piano is haunted or not, leads to one mutual conclusion. We'll take an axe and destroy it. Does anyone insist on taking the first shot? <laughs>
Inspector's log, day three. This morning we're driving back to Nadine and John's house. Right now I'm calling Lorraine to answer my final question. Did anything happen since the piano was taken off the property? How are they feeling now that the piano's gone? The they felt better almost immediately. Wow. Almost immediately I talked to them soon after that. Almost an immediate feeling that getting that out of there was so much better. This piano has something negative to it, mm -hmm. and you guys were able to pick that up pretty much right away. You both reacted differently, but you both felt it. In this case, you felt sick and apprehensive. You're so sensitive that something like that was brought in the house, and instantly you're just like, whoa. When you're going out and collecting antiques, you've been doing this for six years. I'm actually surprised you haven't come across it sooner. If it doesn't stop, then we got to pursue another avenue. Mm -hmm. But we would like to know how you're doing. I'm still talking to clients from a couple years ago. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good to know. Well, you guys have been fantastic, all of you. I really appreciate that. No problem. Everything. This is the final director's log for the haunted piano case. After several days of investigation, I still cannot officially determine that the paranormal activity that Nadine and John have been experiencing can be attributed to the piano itself. To be sure there are no lingering effects on the clients, we're burying the piano and consecrating the ground, just as Lorraine and Tony recommended. Release from the chains of death, an entry into everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. But in the end, I do think we determined that things improved once the piano was taken off the property. So whether this case is closed and this is the end of the paranormal activity here at the house, I guess we'll just have to wait and see.